In the last video, we talked about what is a linear equation. Now we will talk about what is a solution of the linear equation. This the value which when substituted for the variable in the equation makes left hand side and right hand side equal is called the solution of the given equation. Suppose you have an equation with one variable. So the value of the variable which can be substituted in that equation makes the left hand side and right hand side same. Then that value of the variable is called as the solution of that linear equation. Just take an example. Suppose you have one linear equation 5x plus 12 equal to 7x plus 4, right? So if I put x equal to 4 in this equation, this is your left hand side and this is your right hand side, right? So if I put x equal to 4 in left hand side, 5x equal to 4 plus 12, this would be 5 for the 20 plus 12 that is 32 and what about right hand side 7x plus 4 7 or x is equal to 4 plus 4 7 for the 28 plus 4 this will become 32 so left hand side is also 32 and right hand side is also 32 when did we get we got left hand side equal to right hand side when we put x equal to 4 right it means x equal to 4 is the solution of this equation right so the value which can be substituted for the variable in the equation which makes the whole equation left hand side and right side right hand side equal then that particular value of the variable is called as the solution of the linear equation got it Now we will go through the rules. What are all the rules to solve a linear equation to figure out the solution of, of a particular variable, right? So the first rule is we can add the same number to the both side of the equation. How to understand it? Suppose suppose I have any, any equation, suppose 6 equal to 6, right? So uh, if I add 2 on both sides. 2 in left side and 2 in right side, right? So what will become? 8 equal to 8, right? So still left hand side and right hand side is are same, right? Because I after adding any number from left in the left hand side and the right hand side both, the equation became unchanged. Equation was not changed. It is still satisfied. It is still left hand side equal to right hand side, right? It means I can add any number in the left hand side and right hand side both then the equation will not change. How will you use this uh, this concept? Suppose I have one equation that is x minus 5 equal to 10 and I need to figure out the value of x right. So if I add 5 in both sides so what will, what will happen? x minus 5 and I have added plus here plus 5 here and I have added plus 5 right side the minus 5 and plus 5 will come become 0 here it will become x equal to 10 plus 5 become 15 right so x equal to 15 will become your solution of the problem so the solution of this particular equation will be x equal to 15 so using this rule adding the same number in both sides we have figured out the solution of the linear equation. Got it? So the rule is that you, you can add any number in both sides of a linear equation. Let's go to another rule. We can subtract the same number from both sides of an equation. This is just similar to the previous one. There we will able to add the same number on the both sides. Here we can add the same, we can subtract the same number on the both sides. Suppose I have I have one, uh, one linear equation like this, 10 equal to 10. And if I subtract 2 from both sides, then what will happen? 10 minus 2 here and 10 minus 2 here. 
So what will happen? 10 minus 2 is 8, and in the right hand side, 10 minus 2 will be 8. So still, left hand side and right hand side are same, even after subtracting the same number, right? So how this particular rule will help to solve the problem? Suppose I have one problem, a plus 1 by 4 equal to 1 by 3, right? So how to solve this? So if I subtract 1 by 4 from both sides, a plus 1 by 4, I will subtract 1 by 4 in the left hand side and I will subtract 1 by 4 in the right hand side. So minus 1 by 4 and plus 1 by 4 will become 0. So here it will become a equal to and I will I will simplify this. 3 4 is a 12, 4 1 is a 1, minus 4 3 is a 12, 3 1 is a 3 equal to 1 by 12. So, a equal to 1 by 12. Right? So we got it. We got the value of A. A was the variable in this question. So the solution of this uh, solution of this particular uh, equation is A equal to 1 by 4. And how, how did we get it? We applied the rule of subtracting same number from left and subtracting same number from right. Correct? So we can subtract the same number from both the sides of the equation. Moving to the next rule. We can multiply both the sides of an equation by the same non-zero number. Remember that, num that number should not be zero. We can multiply the same number in the left hand side, in the right hand side, but that number should not be zero. Let's take an example. Suppose I have an equation um, 5 equal to 5 and if I multiply both sides by 3 so what will happen? I will multiply 3 here and I will multiply 3 in the right hand side so 5 3 is a 15 and here 5 3 is a 15 so 15 is equal to 15 this is still valid left hand side equal to right hand side right? so the rule says that we can multiply the same number we can multiply by a non-zero number in the both sides of the equation. So let's just take an example. Question is given as p by 5 equal to 4 and I need to figure out the value of p because p is an variable in this equation. So if I multiply by 5 in the both side then what will happen? p by 5 into 5 equal to 4 into 5 because I have multiplied by 5 in the both side, left hand side and right hand side. Now 5 5 would be cancelled. So here p would be equal to 5 4 5 is a 20, right? So p equal to 20 is the solution of this particular linear equation. So we applied the rule that we can multiply by any non-zero number in the left hand side and the right hand side, and then equation doesn't change. Moving to the next rule, that is, we can divide both the sides of an equation by the same non-zero number. Similar, just similar to the third rule that we can multiply the both sides by a non-zero number. Similarly here we can divide any equation in the left hand side and right hand side by the same non-zero number. Suppose we have one uh, equation like uh, 10 equal to 10, right? And if I divide by 2 from in the left hand side and divide by 2 in the right hand side so will the equation will be changed? No, right? Because this will be still valid. 2 5 is 10, 2 5 is 10. So left hand side and right hand side is, are still valid, is still correct. So there is no impact on the linear equation, correct? So this is the rule that we can multiply, sorry, we can divide by any number in the left hand side and the right hand side. That number should not be 0 because if we divide in by any number by 0 then that would be that become that would that would not that number would not be defined right if there is a number zero and if I divide by zero so what will happen this will become infinity and infinity is nothing right so we cannot divide any number by zero so example is given as 0.4 p equal to 0.6 if I divide 0 0.4 from the both sides then what will happen This will become like this, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 will be cancelled. So P will become 0 0.6 upon 0 0.4. This is the solution. We can simplify it further. We will multiply by 10 
in the numerator and denominator it will become 6 by 4 and we will simplify it it will become 3 by 2 correct 2 2 is a 4 2 3 is a 6 so it will become 3 by 2 so p equal to 3 by 2 would be your solution right so p would be equal to 3 by 2 would be solution of this linear equation so what what is the rule that we can divide both the sides of an equation by the same non zero number so what we have learned till now that we can sub add any number in the left hand side and the right hand side of any equation we can subtract any number from the left hand side and right hand side of the equation we can multiply any number any non zero number in the left hand side and the right hand side and similarly we can divide by any non zero number from the left hand side in the right hand side of the equation got it so what we have learned till now that we can subtract any number from the left hand side and the right hand side we can divide we can we can sorry we can add any number in the left hand side and the right hand side we can subtract any number in the left hand side and right hand side we can multi we can multiply by any any non zero number in the left hand side and right hand side and we can divide by any non zero number in the left hand side and the right hand side correct we have one more better way of solving the problem solving the linear equations what is that we have the left hand side and we have the right hand side in any linear equation right if i move anything from left hand side to right hand side or anything from left hand side to right hand side what i will do if it is a with it is with plus sign i will make it minus if it is minus with minus sign i will make it plus if it is with multiply sign i will make it divide if it is with division sign i will make it multiply sign whenever I move from left hand side to right hand side or left right hand side to left hand side this is very important rule and would be very much helpful now let's let's uh, compare how, how both are same so suppose there is any equation like written as 3x minus 2 equal to 4 now I need to solve this right we will solve this in both ways so let's take uh, the earlier approach where we were adding or subtracting the numbers so 3x minus 2 equal to 4 if I add 2 on both sides right 3x minus 2 plus 2 in the left hand side and plus 2 in the right hand side so it, this will become 2 2 would be cancelled because minus 2 plus 2 equal to 0 so it will become 3x equal to 4 plus 2 equal to 6 right now what will what should I do I will divide by 3 on the both side so what will happen 3x by 3 equal to 6 by 3 correct 3 3 would be cancelled so x equal to 3 2 is a 6 x equal to right so x equal to this is the solution of this problem now let's try another approach which I told that whenever we move from left hand side to right hand side its sign changes so to solve this problem what we, what, do I, what we need to do we need to move to constant to right hand side 3x equal to 4 and I have to move 2 to right hand side here 2 is in what is the sign of 2 that is minus so what will happen it, when it will go to right hand side its sign will become plus right I told that that minus become plus plus become minus correct so minus 2 will become plus 2 when it will go to right hand side so 4 plus 2 become, will become 6 so 3x equal to 6 now uh, 3 is in multiplication with x right so when will it will go to right hand side what will happen this will go in division right so x equal to 3 to the 6 so we again got the same solution which we got using the earlier approach so you can any you can use any approach whatever you want but 
this approach uh, my, uh, moving the items from left hand side to right hand side is mostly used you got it so what is what is the different ways of solving the uh, linear equation first of all we try to put all the variables in the left hand side and all the constants in the right hand side then uh, we make the coefficient of the variable 1 so that variable would, would only be remained and we can figure out uh, the value of the variable so we'll note on all those uh, uh, rules in the next slide that is uh, methods for solving the linear equation in one variable so what we need to do we need to simplify both sides left hand side and right hand side by removing the group symbols and collecting like terms suppose in any linear equation we have uh, curly braces small small brackets so what should we do we should remove the brackets first we should solve those brackets first and we should collect the like items like we should collect the variables in the left hand side and we and constants in the right hand side then we need to remove the fractions if there are any we need to remove the fractions by multiplying both sides by a suitable factor suppose there is fraction 3 on the both side so what we will do we will multiply 3 on the both side to remove the fraction from the equation correct then we will take out all the variables in one side and all the constants in the other side to solve the problem and then we will try to make the uh, coefficient of the variable 1 so that we can figure out the value of the variable so you don't need to remember this but when you do, will do the practice and when you will be solving the linear equation then you will definitely uh, be understanding the, uh, these, these things thanks for watching this video you can visit more videos and solutions uh, at uh, the website mathematicsmadeasy.com